Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're going back to the streets. This video is not gonna be your top throws or like a highlight video, but like all of my videos, this is gonna be a discussion in terms of how to choose a throw or a submission or positioning yourself for a submission. It's very crucial and very important because all throws work and all submissions work, but on the streets, you have to be very careful in what position you are doing them in because your safety is very much important. Uh, I've shared a couple of videos recently where a lot of things can go wrong uh, if, you're in, if you're doing stand up or if you're doing groundwork. So this video, I'm gonna sum up when it comes to submitting someone or controlling them on the ground and throwing them. So this one here, uh, whether it is staged or not, in my opinion, it is very important and very telling. This is, uh, I'm sure you've seen this, I've shared this, I believe a couple of years ago, this Ippon Seonage, where he remained standing up and controlling uh, the aggressor. So what's important about this is staying in control while, by holding the hand and also remaining standing up. Sometimes you can roll on the ground and things can go into a scramble. You've seen the uh, arrest attempts videos where things can go wrong on the ground. So here, he remains standing up while law enforcement get in. So here, uh, controlling the sleeve, usually we are taught this to protect Uke, but at the same time, it is a form of control. Now, on the streets, it's a gray area. You might wanna let go as you are throwing. You know, it, my point is you can choose the amount of damage you can do by letting go or keep hanging on to the wrist slash the sleeve. So standing up is key or remaining standing up is key. And also, uh, which brings me to my next point. If you wanna stay standing up, also you want to choose you know, low risk, high reward type throws like Deashi or Okuri Ashi Harai. This one here, this foot sweep by the kid done brilliantly timing is key and also movement is key so Deashi as I mentioned it is a low risk high reward throw requires very little effort uh, all it does is require timing and the movement of your you know attacker slash opponent so uh, this one here is also very safe to do you can still uh, be in control after it happens and you can choose the amount of safety for your attacker you want to hurt them a lot or not remember Tanabe uh, bounced his head off the mat from a Deashi Harai and was knocked out so here this one I've shared this also hip throws will always be a winner when it comes to street self-defense this Ogoshi here by the Chinese police again notice how he uh, remains grabbing the arm to First, keep them safe, not to, you know, do too much brutality, and two, to have uh, control till the very end. This is very important, especially for law enforcement. If after the throw you want to carry out an arrest, um, also I've talked about the Vietnamese cop who did like an Oso Toguruma. He did it and just completely let go. The guy was just knocked out, and that's not how you want to do it when you're in law enforcement. Now. Uh, if you're in a life or death situation and you're a civilian, letting go is an option if you want to flee the scene and also you want to make sure they do not you know, retaliate and I have an example for that later on in the video. So here you see hip throws will always be effective, you can st uh, remain standing up, high risk, high reward, low risk. Now here, when it comes to the ground, you want to be in control. I've said this in the triangle choke goes wrong video that even if you're the best guard player, please sweep first and then get on top and control. Here, this, I believe he's a BJJ black belt, puts someone in a triangle. He's completely in control. He's spinning them down. He's not hurting him, but he has the choice uh, to do so in, if, uh, in case things uh, go wrong. Now, granted, if, uh, you know, things are a bit of a scramble around you, there's many people around, you know, your friends, their, his friends, etc. Now, obviously, you don't want to be in this position, but if you are controlling them and you know it's a safe environment, you know, maybe it's your environment, your shop, your store, etc. Uh, this position is great because first you're on top and you have the control of how much damage you want to do in case things go wrong. Just like the throw, just like, you know, holding on to the sleeve or the arm. Now, um, I forgot which BJJ Black Belt, he's a world champion, he said this. He says, triangle is a position, it is not 
a submission only. And I agree, as you can see here from the Sankaku Gatame or Triangle Hold. First of all, you can get it from anywhere. You can get it from the top, like the um, Civilian or BJJ Black Belt has it. You can get it from the back mount. You can get it from the side Yoko Sankaku, as you are seeing here. And of course, you can get it from the guard if need be. But what's important about this is not only you are holding them down, but you have a range of choices like arm locks. Uh, you can easily finish it by strangling. Um, you can just pin and wait for backup. Maybe you are a police officer, etc. And of course, you can wrist lock, uh, arm lock, or strangle, and just pin and negotiate. Uh, personally, uh, I would go for any variation of Keizagatame, Ushiro, Hon, or Kuzure, because I want my legs to be free in case I just want to leave the scene or, you know, immediately get back up, personally. And also, you can do a wide range of submissions from any Keizagatame variation. So, Sankaku from top, from the side, from back mount is very important, but... No, if you find yourself in the guard, try to immediately sweep, I beg you. Honorable mentions, Hanegoshi or Uchimata, depending, you know, which camp you want to fall in. This is me performing it, training with Rokas, um, hand around the back, springing the hip and leg upward. Highly effective, smoothly done, and it can be very effective, much like all hip tosses. So, the Japanese call this, you know, a base form of Uchimata not necessarily Hanegoshi. I learned this from Koji Komuro. He says that beginners should, you know, pull from the waist, arm around the back, and, you know, which, uh, you know, helps a lot with Kuzushi if you're not good at it. It, uh, it allows you to concentrate on how to put your legs, your hips, and how to enter into this throw without uh, too much thinking of Kuzushi. And it's a brilliant throw. It's simple, not very simple, but it, it looks rather simple very effective and it can flow very smoothly as you can see here um that's a great throw for me for self-defense this is my go-to and the last honorable mention o uchigari major inner reap as i mentioned earlier uh sometimes you just don't want to keep control because they might get up and retaliate or you're just too aggressive and you want to flee the scene this example here by inoue kose where he just reaps and let's go and they can take quite a good fall especially on asphalt and then you can just run away it doesn't have to be sleeve and lapel you can just hug the shoulders and slide them down as you see in many competition variation and you can just reap away all you need is close upper body contact and just get in their personal space and reap from the inside there's no need for sleeve and lapel you can just do it from a very shallow hug all you need is chest to chest contact if you know how to do o uchigari so um this is my main pointers when it comes to self-defense throwing and uh submission wise uh, you need to have full control from beginning to end when it comes to the throw remaining standing up is your best option um you can choose the safety of the throw by remaining you know in contact with the grip of the hand sleeve or wrist or you can just let go if you want to flee the scene if it's a dangerous scene um, and when it comes to the ground I'm sure we can all agree on this being on top uh, controlling every aspect you know in case we don't get surprised is best and also you know you can choose the you know, gravity of your submission like that triangle he wasn't squeezing but he knew the aggressor knew that he was in a bad position and thus he did not dare do anything so a triangle is a position, it's not only a submission, Sankaku Gatame, triangle hold, Keza Gatame, my personal favorite, any variation of the Ushiro, Hon, and the Kuzure, as long as you have those legs spread out in a V position, and you have your ribs in control of them, um, and it's the best way to just get up and leave in case you need, and also it has multiple submissions, so if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below, also, Consider supporting me on Patreon. I have exclusive content for the patrons only, like the full podcasts, behind the scenes, and exclusive videos for the patrons only. This was Shady, and as always, thank you for listening.